Ashwin Dutta and today we are going to discuss about flow control trainer and its order code is 2223-6220.3.21N So in this video we are going to discuss about the working of this trainer So this is the flow control trainer So here we are having the process diagram of the whole components that are there in the flow control trainer and these are the description for each component and the function is also written in this description and at first we are having this control system at second we are having the measuring element and everything is explained on the description section and this is the pump on off switch and this is the mains on off switch then this is the drainage section so here you can see this is the drainage pipe and this is the rotameter this is the solenoid valve these are the unions and this is the flow sensor and from here the water comes in through the pump motor and this is the water tank so we need to fill the water tank up to one third of its capacity and it will be operated through the software so this is the connector which is provided so we need to connect this USB connector at our PC or laptop so now let's see the working of this flow control trainer so here you can see these are the two pipes which are there so this is the first pipe from here the water comes in when the trainer is on the pump will supply the water through this pipe and it will move from this section and from the rotameter there is that pipe which is connected the one end of the pipe is connected at the rotameter and the other end should be go inside this water tank so we need to place the other end of the rotameter pipe in the beaker section like this and now we will move to our system and we will run the software so now we will download NeVisa any version so we need to download some of the softwares from the online sites so firstly we need to download the NeVisa APK from Google and we can download any version of NeVisa and then we need to download LabVIEW version 2022 32-bit so this is the LabVIEW and we need to download it from Google only and this is the APK and then we need to install it so this is the LabVIEW 2020 version 32-bit then this is the software which we need to install the new flow control trainer so we need to install this software and it is provided along with this flow control trainer and we need to open the folder so after installing the NeVisa and LabVIEW then we need to install this software and we need to click on this so this is the interface which we get so here you can see flow control trainer and here we are having the process value set point value output then PID values proportional integral derivative then these are the values which will come after the flow control trainer is in operating condition or it is in working mode and from here we need to provide the desired value so here we need to provide the desired set point so from here only we can provide the values and after that we need to click on this update so that these values will be updated here like the proportional value the integral value and the de derivative value that is the PID values will be given from here and then we need to click on update and then it will reflect on this section and we also need to provide the desired set point and this is the cursor for press to on off pump so from here we need to 
press this stop button or start button so that the pump will start or stop and from here we need to give the pump input so initially it is 50 we can vary up to 60 70 or 80 and this is the press to start and stop PID controller and from here when we will click here we will generate the graph and the graph will be plotting in between process value set point and output so this is the software interface now we need to connect this USB connector to the system like this and now firstly we need to provide the required COM port so we need to go on control panel and then we need to go on device manager and then we need to check the required communication port so it will de by default show any communication port or you need to check the proper communication port from the device manager so here I am getting the by default communication port as 3 and I will click on refresh and again if I will check it is COM port 3 for my system it will be different for your system so you need to check it from the device manager and now I will click on communication port 3 and now we need to switch on the mains and pump from the flow control trainer so now we will keep the main switch on and the pump switch on so manually the pump will not start this trainer will work only from the software so manually when you will keep the pump switch on and the main switch on the pump will not operate it will be operated through the software communication so we need to go back to our software so after switching on the mains and pump switch from the main unit now we have selected the communication port and this is the run mode and this is the run continuously mode so we will click on run continuously and here you can see this is the green indication so this indicates that the communication is occurred between the main unit and the software so now they are connected and now we will provide a set point of around 55 and you can give any set point value so it can be around 50 to 60 or in between 60 to 70 so the desired set point values should be around 55 to 60 so I am keeping it at 55 so after giving the desired set point value as 55 now we will click on update and we will switch on the pump so we will run the pump at 70% and firstly we will click on pump and then we will click on update so here you can see the values are updated now and when you will click on PID and you need to click on press to generate graphs so you need to click on this start and stop switch and here you can see the graph between PV, SV and output so now after a certain time the process value will be approximately close to the set point right now there is a difference between the process value and set point and after a particular time period the set value and process value will almost gets equal so every time you change the values from here you need to click on update so that the values will be updated and it will be communicated here on the left side and as you can see the flow control started on the software now we will check it on the trainer kit also so here you can see that on the rotameter we are getting the values 
here and we are getting the output at the tank so here you can see the water is coming from the rotameter pipe so from here you can check that the water is coming out from the rotameter output so now i have kept the process value at 70 and i have set the desired set point at 70 so now the pid controller is maintaining the value which we have provided at set point which is 70 so here you can see as i have provided desired set value as 70 so it is reflected here also as 70 and the process value which is maintained at 70 and you can check the valve output from here so this is the valve output which we are getting and i have set the pump input at 60 percent and we can observe the graph from here and you can export these values to excel so when you will right click it on and when you will go to export option then you can export the data into the excel sheet so that is how you can perform the experiment on this flow control trainer so now you can change the set point values according to your requirement and then you can see the PID controller working like it will maintain the process value so right now it is maintained at 7070 as you can see here and the valve output is 4.6 and we are getting the graph here and we are having the pump input as 60 percent so that is how this flow control trainer works so that's all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query regarding this trainer, you can contact at Tesla Global website. You can find the link in the description. For more information, go through the manual. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe to our channel.